Introduction Aruna is out playing with her friends. She comes across a blade on the road. She picks it up and tries to cut some leaves with it. Before she realizes, she has cut her finger. She rushes home holding her bleeding finger. Her mother cleans and bandages the wound. After administering first aid, she takes Aruna to the doctor. In this lesson, let us learn to administer first aid. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Define emergency care List steps of first aid for Burns Wounds Nosebleeds Snake and scorpion bites Insects bites Animal bites Fracture And sprains Emergency Care An old man was sitting in the park. Suddenly he feels severe pain in the left side of chest. He might have a heart attack. What he needs is the immediate care. Any immediate care that a patient requires in order to save his life or prevent a permanent injury is called emergency care. Severe accidents, heart attacks, asthma attacks, etc. Require emergency care. Let us now learn some home remedies that can be used to treat small injuries. First aid for burns. A burn is an injury to the skin resulting from a direct contact with an extremely hot substance, electricity or chemicals. When a person suffers burn injuries, then we should pour cold water over the burnt part or place ice over it. Wipe with dry cloth and apply antibiotic ointment on the burnt area. First aid for wounds. Wound is an injury that is caused by a cut, tear or puncture in the skin. When wounds bleed, we should wash the wound with clean water and soap. Apply antibiotic ointment. Cover the wound with a bandage. First aid for nose bleeds. Nose bleeds when the blood vessels present inside the nose rupture. In case of a nose bleed, we should make the person sit down and lean forward. Press the soft part of the nose using the thumb and the index finger till the bleeding stops. First aid for snake and scorpion bites. Snake and scorpion bites can be life-threatening. To prevent loss of life from a snake or scorpion bite, we should tie a piece of cloth or rope tightly just above the wound to prevent the spread of venom to the rest of the body. Wash the wound with soap and water. Suck and spit out blood to remove the venom from the body. First aid for insect bites. Some insect bites can prove fatal. When an insect bites, we should wash the affected area thoroughly with soap and water, apply ice on the affected area to provide relief from pain, apply an antiseptic cream to prevent itching. First aid for animal bites. Animal bites can sometimes be very serious. A dog or a monkey bite can even cause rabies. After an animal bite, we should wipe the saliva of the animal using a clean cloth. Wash the bite thoroughly with soap and water. Cover the bite with antibiotic cream. See a doctor for help. First aid for fracture. Fracture results from a break in the continuity of a bone. When a person suffers a fracture, we should apply ice to the fractured part to reduce swelling and pain. Keep the patient still and support the injured area with a splinter. Consult medical professionals immediately. First aid for sprains. A sprain results from the stretching of ligaments beyond their capacity around a joint. To provide relief from sprain, we should Apply ice over the affected area to reduce pain and swelling. Use bandage for support. Place the injured area at some height. 
match the items of columns A and B by dragging the button to the appropriate option. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. The immediate care that a patient requires to save his life or prevent a permanent injury is emergency care. A burn is an injury to the skin resulting from a direct contact with an extreme hot substance, electricity or chemicals. A wound is an injury in which the skin is torn, cut or broken. Nosebleeds are caused by rupture of blood vessels inside the nose. Insect bites can cause a severe allergic reaction. A fracture results from a bone. A sprain refers to stretched ligaments and blood vessels around a joint. Small injuries can be treated at home with home remedies.